Live my life like rock and roll Way too loud, never slow A little crazy and out of control Wide open till the bar closes The bantering idiot <laughs> This is how we're gonna film from now on We're just gonna sit right here And this is how we're gonna roll Bantering Bantering It needs a gimbal or something There's no way I can hold it up here no, I'll never be able to <laughs> this is two cents worth back here. Two cents. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we're gonna roll. Two cents. Oh, we got little uh, hop along doggy. Ten man. Come to me. Peace and love is pitiful. We don't know what he did. But he's now just so little. He's only able to use three of his little legs. I think he got his little nail caught or something. Well, I've come out to find a uh, very interesting thing. Didn't really pay attention to it. Never known it. Never seen it anywhere. But there seems to be a plant that likes to draw Japanese beetles. You think, well, they'll draw them to your plants. I was surprised because I didn't see any Japanese beetles out here at all and so i thought okay what's going on well this is what's going on there they are they are loving this velvet leaf plant this is it's called uh oh i think it's called japanese lantern or japanese jute some kind of jute and velvet leaf it's got all kinds of little names and you'll notice let me see if I can find one. They've got these little lantern-looking uh, flowers to them. It's not really a flower, but a, a bud, whatever you want to call it. And that's where they get the lantern name. <laughs> but apparently, Japanese beetles love them. So that would be an excellent thing to grow if you have a Japanese beetle problem. What I'm going to do when they get done munching on this and they seem like they're getting tired of it, I'm just going to clip this and I'm going to go throw it to my chickens. I'm going to clip these little leaves off and go throw it to my chickens. And they will have themselves a little, nice little Japanese beetle dinner. And there you have it. And there's no, I've looked everywhere out here as messy as this garden is. This garden is a disaster. I haven't been home. I work two other jobs. <laughs> it's just a miserable, miserable disaster. I have to get my tomatoes up. So I'm going to stake them with one by one because that's about all I can do right now or even possibly just some weed bar. I've got to get them up off the ground. It's just going to keep ruining all of my low-bearing uh, tomatoes right here. And as soon as I get them up, I'm going to pluck all of those lower branches so that they will fruit up here and not down low where it's hard to get to them. My peppers are starting to snap out of it. Got a few little sweet peppers. Also have a lot of grass. <laughs> it's just been so not taking care of anything out here. I just planted it and let it go, obviously. I've weed eaten a few times, and that's it. Um, but this, you know, you know me and lamb's quarter. I love lamb's quarter. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to eat it because awesome. But this is even more awesome. I am digging this. I will grow velvet leaf forever in my garden because Japanese beetles suck. I don't see them on anything else. Not over there on my little tomatoes over here, not on my big tomatoes, not on my peppers. And the one thing that I was severely concerned about was my fruit trees that I'm just trying to get started. <laughs> really got to mow out here. Oh my goodness. We gotta get the wood chips going. There's no Japanese beetles out here. Now something's been munching. But that's a different little bug. 
I'm gonna have to spray it with neem oil again, but there's no Japanese beetles out here that I can see. If there are, we'll take care of them. Oh, yep, I see them. I see them in there. Yep, he just fell off. And there's one. He's hanging on my leaf. So there was one, two, three, four, five. Anymore. I don't see any more flinging off of here. Yeah, let them go get on the velvet leaf. They'll like that. But leave my plum trees alone. Let's go check this little tree. I'll get some neem oil and they'll leave these trees alone. Yep, see, they're already trying. They're trying to pop this tree. If all of those Japanese beetles and those Japanese beetles and those Japanese beetles on all of those plants had been attacking at just this tree, it would have already taken it down because I haven't been home for almost a week. So let me go get the neem oil and we'll try to save the little trees. But like three or four, if I had any other time, Japanese beetles would take these down in just like two days. They'd be just trashed and have to recover. But this, this is minimal damage and those Japanese beetles have been here for a while because they've just about gotten those other leaves eaten. They've been here at least two days. So they're, it's definitely a good thing to have velvet leaf, I think, in your garden. If anybody else knows this little trick, let me know because I've never heard of it. And I'm digging it. As you well know, from the last video, I lost a couple of chickens from stupidity. So we're not gonna do that anymore. Uh, we're gonna keep them locked up until they are perfectly safe. But I was very flippant about it. Not really flippant, but uh, overly secure. I was overly secure about it because there were crows around. You know, crows, they don't really protect your chickens, but hawks don't like crows. And pretty much my only predator right here would be a stray dog or a hawk who would love to be coming out of these woods and swooping down on my chickens when they get out here in this little field area. So we're not gonna let them out in the open area anymore. But I'm gonna string fishing line across the top of it so that they can't swoop in on them when they're out in the open over here. So basically I'm gonna put a big fence around here and let them just take over this little area until we can get some portable things going on. Um, there's some really good ideas on the internet. I'm gonna try to see what we can do because we're gonna be adding more chickens, uh, some goats, and everybody adds goats, <laughs> baby goats. You gotta have baby goats. But um, I'm gonna get some, probably not meat. I'm not that kind of, I'm, I don't know about the goat meat. I love Indian food. I, I don't do the goat meat, it's always chicken. <laughs> I probably need to rename this Big Dreams on a Little Farm. <laughs> there's a lot going on in my mind, but there's like nothing going on out here. There will be. It just takes time. And you have to give yourself time. And you have to not rush it. You can't rush perfection. And you shouldn't really. And that's the whole point is the journey. You know, you've got to have the peace and the fun and the journey and all of that that comes with it you have to soak it up with your body gently swaying I really love the groove that's playing it's put things in a hole Thanks for watching. I'm glad to have you. We want to share everything that we have uh, going on with you guys and just, you know, just to let you guys see, you know, everybody has to start over. Uh, if you're starting over and you're feeling the crunch, uh, especially if you're older, 
it's, it's hard to just go out and just beat the streets for uh, the money and just, you know, keep tossing money into it, especially as you get older. But, you know, it keeps us healthy, it keeps us moving, it keeps us hopeful, and we can uh, do a lot here. And, I, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this turning into a ministry and to uh, even just a community area where people know that they could come for help they could come for food they could come for uh, whatever they need you know something happens we're here in our RV <laughs> said, until next time bye y'all bye y'all